I mean, hey there my retro dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, it's been a minute, sorry. Today I am going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me Q&A. I hit you guys up on Instagram and Twitter, Snapchat and all of the things, pretty much everywhere except for here. So if you're not following me on Snapchat or Instagram and all my other social media thingies, then get on it because then you will get exclusives and heads up and things like that. Since this is kind of like a chit chat get ready with me sort of thing, it's gonna be pretty laxed as far as like details on what what I'm using and all of that stuff so if you have any questions about any of the products that I'm using they will be linked down below just a heads up some of those links are affiliate links which means that I do make a percentage if you do purchase by clicking that link but if you feel some type of way then no worries you don't got to use it it just doesn't charge you any more money it helps me out so I am appreciative but you know do you. I'm just gonna prime my face using the Kat Von D Locket primer. I really love this one too because it has sort of like a, a sticky feeling to it so you know that your foundation is really gonna adhere to it. So let's get started. I'm going to go into Instagram first. I know the first one is like a smart ass question from one of my friends so I'm just like listen here. You duck. Okay so first smart ass question from my friend Johnny Tanoko you ass. He says yeah I got Got a question who do you think you are seriously though why is my girl all over your IG mm -hmm. why is my girl all over your IG Grimard Garcia you slut that's my husband we joke that that's his girlfriend and whatnot anyways so fuck you toke he's mine all right he put a ring on it I put a ring on it legally my property back the fuck off okay okay now let's actually get into questions. So this one is from Mary Nicole and she says, I have a question but I don't have your Snapchat. Girl, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I have known her since high school or junior high. You had the opportunity, you got me on Facebook, you got me on Instagram. Now hopefully this next one <laughs> is an actual question. And this one is from LuluBeans87 and she says, what's your daily skincare routine? First off, I'm putting on my foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 105. My daily skincare routine is honestly pretty minimal. At night, I take my makeup off with a makeup wipe, a really cheap Costco one because I wanted to test it out and um, I'm not a fan but now I have like an insane amount of those makeup wipes and so now I just gotta use them so yeah at night I take my makeup off and then I moisturize with berry matcha recharge face lotion it smells so so good but yeah that's literally all I do I just take my makeup off at night sometimes and then I just moisturize this next one is from Katie Lucy Dexter and she wants to know where do you feel you have the best luck finding clothes that fit your body your style and your budget honestly rue 21 has become like my number one when you guys started suggesting I check them out I was like oh okay you know, I'll look into it but then I saw their clothes online and I was like oh damn that's cute and then I went and actually tried them on I'm like okay so not only is it cute but it fits really well the style is so like trendy but so me too they're really inexpensive and they have sales going on all the time a lot of the things that I tried on on their inside the dressing room that I did were like heavily discounted online the thing that I don't like though is that apparently their online inventory and their uh, physical inventory at their store locations isn't always in sync so like they'll have a bomb ass sale online and then you go into the store and it's like I mean there are still sales but it's not the same and then things that you try on in store you can't find online so that's kind of the issue that I had but I'd say in general rue 21 is doing the damn thing for me so the next one is from miss Reyes also I hope that I'm pronouncing your guys's names right if I'm not I'm so sorry I have fine hair and have lost weight and think it is worse what shampoo or product do you suggest to thicken it up does putting it in a ponytail daily make it worse any type of volumizing shampoo and conditioner will be really good I like big sexy hair I use it in the salon too. make sure that when you are using the conditioner that you don't put it on your scalp that you're just doing it from like the mid shaft to the ends because with really fine hair if you're putting conditioner like on your scalp it's just gonna weigh it down even more and nobody wants that right dry shampoo is your best friend use that instead of hairspray you will have sort of like this texture 
textured gritty sort of feel in your hair but that's what your hair needs in order to get some volume also yes putting it up in a ponytail especially if it's like high and tight yeah that does make it worse because it creates damage there is something called like tension alopecia I think is what it's called and basically what it is is because you're pulling your hair back so much you get breakage and your hairline starts to thin out because it's being pulled so tight all the time so what I suggest is if you have to wear your hair up a lot or if you just prefer to wear your hair up like I do is to use bobby pins or hair clips instead or you use something like like this I forgot exactly what this is called but basically it holds your hair up but it doesn't have that tension on your hair so it's not as damaging so next question comes from Britt Becker 1220 for what is your favorite Bruno Mars song oh my god okay so <laughs> I've been kind of obsessed with his latest album so my favorite Bruno Mars song is finesse Okay, so yeah, that's my favorite song of his. Am I the only one that kind of gets like early NSYNC vibes from it? Just me? Okay. This one is from McGee Hankley. Hank, Hank, ugh. McGee Han Kelly. So I don't have Snapchat, damn, but what's your fave go-to outfit for a night out with the girls? Me and my friends aren't really like club goers. We're mostly the type that go to the bar. So usually what I do is I'll either wear like black pants and a really cute flowy top that shows off the girls all nice. Lately though, I've been putting together an outfit for a casual sleigh for New York. So I'll give you guys a quick little look at it. So I'll show you right now. Pretend that these are pants and not leggings my red flannel so basically what I did in the torrid try on these vans right here weather permitting this faux leather jacket yes I hope you guys understand my aesthetic at this point I'm not like the girly dress up kind of girl so when I go out I'm a lot more casual slay also I turned the fan off so that it, you wouldn't hear the fan throughout the whole video but I'm kind of dying right now just so you know blame it on my confidence or oh, blame it on your mental your match. I started that song way too low. Okay, so here's also the thing about like my night out looks is I like that casual sleigh, but my makeup and my hair is like work. We have this question in the DMs. This from Black Rat. What's one of your insecurities, if any, that you have that you're still struggling with? You know what, actually? One of my insecurities used to be that little fat patch that I have under my bust, but I feel like once I talked to you guys about it, my insecurities and all of that, there was just so many of you who came out and were telling me that you have the same issue. I used to be really insecure about that, but then when and all of you guys were like me too I was like holy shit I'm not alone and this isn't such a big deal you know every plus size body that I saw did not include those little extra fat pads so I was just like okay cool so I'm defective that's awesome but then like I couldn't hide it in my my bikini inside the dressing room at Torrid so I was like well fuck it might as well just point this out and move on and then you guys like all of you came out of the woodworks telling me that you have the same issue and insecurity and ever since then I've kind of thought of it as like I don't know I don't, I don't want to say like a badge of honor but I definitely didn't feel some type of way about it anymore because I was like I'm far from alone and me owning it helps me feel like I'm empowering you guys too so honestly I feel like that was my only real insecurity security and the fact that I've been eating a lot better and kind of taking care of myself and really putting myself first and my health first has been making me feel a lot better about myself so I mean I don't want to I don't want to come off cocky but right now I feel like I don't really have any insecurities I feel like I'm just letting myself fucking live and not making myself feel like shit because I'm not perfect whatever nobody is also I'm putting on these eyebrows like uh, pff, poop but we gonna clean it up, don't worry. So I don't know where the camera shut off and all of that, but I'm just gonna start over. So this one comes from It's Me, Jess, and she says, do you have any advice for fashion slash makeup YouTubers just starting out? I've been getting a lot of questions about this 
really recently too and I kind of want to stress to you guys not to put so much pressure on yourself I feel like since youtubers and influencers and YouTube has become like this huge thing where you see people that are like YouTube influencers and they're on like TV and in movies and like I just went into Sephora the other day and there was benefit products that were just like decked out in YouTube influencers and I feel like that has sort of created this idea that you have to be an instant success and you have to have like millions or all of these crazy amounts of subscribers in order to mean anything so people like put this pressure on themselves to grow their channel at like ultra speed and the reality is that that doesn't happen for everybody and that's totally fine for me in particular, I started this channel in 2010, but I didn't start taking it seriously until about five years ago. But guys, that's five years of consistent work for free. I'm still not making a living on this. You have to really have a passion for it to keep going because I'm not gonna lie, it does get kind of discouraging when you see all of these YouTubers like making it big and kicking off and all this kind of stuff. But honestly, like my channel hasn't even really started really picking up speed until this month. And I've been busting my ass <laughs> on YouTube for we'll say five years. I guess that was my long-winded way of just saying make sure that this is your passion first of all because you are going to be working for free and working very hard for quite a while and also if you want to help build your channel just make something that you would want to watch or something that speaks to you. I feel like my eyebrows aren't listening to me today but whatever. As far as networking just make friends with other YouTubers, collab with them. Also there are some networks out there like I think grapevine.com they're basically like the middleman to connect you with companies that are looking for influencers to do promotional work and also it connects you with other influencers that are interested in doing a collab so that's a good way to do that the main point that I want to make is don't put too much pressure on yourself to grow instantly because it takes time it takes hard work and it's it's just it's it's a struggle girl but if this is what you want to do then it'll be worth it on to snapchat which if you guys aren't following me on snapchat get on it because I'm always on Snapchat and I have all of these questions from all of you gorgeous people. Um, also, I, I respond to most of you except for yesterday. Some dude was just like, Hi, you're awesome. Can I send you a gift? No, thank you. Okay, but can we still be besties? Yeah, sure. Like, who are you? This first one comes from Evelyn and she says, okay, so my question is, what made you want to start YouTube? What would some advice be to other plus size ladies and gents that want to become daily vloggers and do outfit hauls like you? I feel like I answered a pretty good amount of that second question. As far as daily vlogging goes, it is work. I don't even do daily vlogs and I wouldn't do them because it is way too damn much work to be constantly filming, editing, and uploading every day. What made me want to start YouTube is because I moved to a town that I was totally unfamiliar with but I was in a really shitty spot and I ended up just moving up to Fresno because that's where my mom's job transferred her so I moved up here with her started going to beauty school felt really alone and didn't really have that many friends and so I was just watching a bunch of collab videos. When I first originally started YouTube it was trying to start a collab channel which failed miserably but it was a blessing in disguise because then I was just like fuck this I'm doing this on my own I'm not gonna rely on anybody else and then I started slowly doing um, tutorials and stuff like that which you guys can look back at they're really awkward and shitty I was literally filming with my laptop camera but yeah so that's kind of how it all started is I was just alone in a unfamiliar place and I just was trying to reach out and eventually it turned into something that I absolutely love and I created amazing connections with you guys and I met one of my best friends on here which is Amanda you know her next one comes from baby girl would you have kids in the future if yes how many yeah of course I'd have kids in the future I'm using the Anastasia modern renaissance palette by the way this is the look that I told you guys I was gonna do a tutorial on that has like the glitter and you guys wanted the tutorial it's super easy you guys will see now. Yeah, I would love to have kids. Ideally would want two. 
I mean, I'm fine with however many God blesses me with. For the longest time, I wanted to have a little boy first, but being with Cody, I feel like he would be such an amazing father to a little girl. That little girl would be so blessed to have a father like him. Speaking as a former little girl who didn't have a father that was, you know, ideal. So yeah, oh, mushy, cute, oh my God, relationship goals. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, I would, I would just want to have a, a little girl if nothing else. I answer these questions with fucking paragraphs and then I have to go and edit. This is going to be such a long video to edit. Next one comes from Becky. I would like to know if you have a skincare routine and if yes, a brief round rundown of what you do. Love from Texas. Thank you. I'm so basic with my skincare. I really should pay more attention to my skin. But honestly, I just started um, doing the, what's that shit called? Moisturizing. <laughs> also, in my distracted mind trying to do this tutorial for you guys, I pulled the wrong palette. Going to my Melt Stacker in Dark Matter, and I'm just going to use the color Blur. Okay, so next one comes from Jasmine. Are you doing Vlogmas this year? I actually was thinking about doing that, and I think I will. I don't know that I'm going to be doing everyday vlogs, but we gonna try. Okay, next one comes from Jess. This is just a conversation, sorry. You know I always put pressure on myself with every aspect of my life. Girl, chill. Girl, chill. Stop putting pressure on yourself. Everybody just expects the world of themselves because with this day and age, everybody puts up this persona online that life is so easy and everything is handed to them and oh my god look at me and Bora Bora on somebody else's dime and I've only been doing this for like less than a year that kind of mentality and so you look at your own life and you're just like well I ain't shit but the reality is that that ain't reality and if you guys listen to Lady Gaga then her perfect illusion that song is about you know, the persona that we all put online it's not true because when it's all said and done take away all the glitz the glam the fucking trips around the world and free product and all of this stuff you are really just some boob sitting alone in front of a camera not that big of a deal people it's not that deep it's just makeup it's just it's just the internet who cares next one comes from victoria blanton as a fellow plus size girl what suggestions and tips can you offer me heading into a job interview thanks a ton beautiful you're welcome. For whatever reason, when I heard that question, I automatically thought, what should I wear as a plus size girl going into an interview? But now when I'm editing it, I'm listening back and I feel like you possibly were wanting just a little bit of a confidence boost. So what I want to tell you is that confidence is all that really matters. It doesn't matter your size make them feel like that job already belongs to you and this interview is just a technicality so just walk in with confidence and of course you know wear appropriate attire but as far as i'm concerned confidence is all that really matters dress dressy and then a nice flowy top keep your makeup really natural so like nudes and browns and stuff like this basically don't do the makeup that i'm doing today basically just be a put together kind of girl does that make sense i hope it makes sense so next question is from laura's HTX. What are your top recommended hair products? As a hairstylist, what are some tips you can share with us on keeping color treated hair healthy? Okay, so one thing that I use on pretty much all of my clients and I use on myself and I feel like it really helped bring my hair back to life. I used it's a 10 miracle styling potion and that seriously saved the day. Make sure that with any product that you're putting in your hair aside from dry shampoo that you are only applying it from like mid shaft down to the ends because if you put it on your scalp you're just going to be creating buildup. Also depending on the severity of the damage of your hair then do like a coconut oil treatment or some type of mask. Also regular trims people, regular trims. You want to get your hair trimmed even if it's like a half inch which people think that an inch is like this freaking big an inch is like this much 
So from your first knuckle of your thumb to the tip of your thumb, that's an inch. So even if you're getting like a half inch cut off each four to six weeks, get it done. Smoky Storm. And I literally just put this over my lid and that's like, that's that. And what I do on the ends is I just take my finger and I kind of dab just to break it up so it's not like a harsh transition. Now I'm just going to go in with my Alchemist palette. I'm going to use my finger and go in with Amethyst, which is the ultraviolet. I'm just going to like press that right into the inner corner. Bam. And I feel like like that is the part where it's like, oh shit, look at her. I know every video I've been posting lately, I've been talking about CurvyCon, but it is like a little less than two weeks away and I'm fucking stoked. So they're Coco Lashes in Chloe. And I'm just gonna be applying them with my new favorite eyelash adhesive from Thrive, Co Thrive Cosmetics, which I definitely suggest you guys check out because for one, like I have chronic dry eyes, my eyes are super sensitive, they're always watering. With this lash adhesive, not only do my lashes stay on to the point where my eyes will be, will be watering and they're still on there. I even put in eye drops with those lashes still on, didn't budge. They stay put, they're a little bit more expensive, but for everything that you buy, they donate one to a cancer patient. And if you wanna save some money, you can use the code Aloe Approved. Obviously that is not my code, cause I am not Aloe, but I follow her on Instagram and on Snapchat, which I suggest cause she is a funny ass bitch. And she knows what's up as far as makeup goes and things like that, house cleaning, cooking, all the stuff. Anyways, check her out. Literally all I do is I just put the glue on, I bend the the band a little bit, and then I put them on and it's like, bam, done. Also this little tweezer I'm using, I got at Ulta. I can already feel the right corner of my eye trying to water and I'm like, bitch, no. Like at a certain point, I stopped fanning my eyelashes and I was just fanning myself because I was hot. <laughs> so let's get to this last question. So this one comes from Kimberly Flanagan, which you guys know her. I will put a link to her channel somewhere around here what is your all-time favorite type of video to film so I really like doing inside the dressing rooms for you guys but they're kind of a pain in the ass to edit just because like I have to do voiceovers and include the sizing and in the description I have to find a link for all of the clothing and then sometimes I'll find out the clothing that I tried on they don't actually have online so I'm like okay fantastic so now what do I do so I'd have to say inside the dressing room is my favorite to film least favorite to edit. You guys may or may not have noticed, but I have been deleting some comments and I want to be completely transparent with you guys and talk to you as to why I'm doing that. And it is because there are just some comments that are totally like not constructive and rude. Like today, for instance, I had this comment from this girl who was like, I'm plus size, but what you put on your body is just ugly and you're fat. And if you have a problem being fat, then do something about it. And fat girls shouldn't wear this and can't wear this. And it was just like, she was telling me all of the rules of being plus size and what you should and shouldn't wear and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you know what? Leaving that comment here, for one, I don't want it to start like a comment war where somebody comes and defends me. On the other hand, I also don't want somebody skimming through the comments and seeing somebody telling them how they should and shouldn't dress that's not okay comments like that just being like flat out fucking rude those get deleted so yeah if you were ever like oh Jessie's in here deleting comments I have a reason also bottom line it's my channel so if I don't like it bagger okay so I'm just gonna be putting on my lips and all of that stuff I'm gonna fast forward through that and then I will see you at the end So that is it. We finally made it to the end. I hope that I answered all of your guys' questions thoroughly enough for you guys. Um, if you guys have any more questions, like I keep saying, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media accounts, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that is all linked down below. I love you guys and remember until next time, if they ain't paying your bills, pay them no mind. Check you later.